hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today's session i'm going to explain how to install evng uh, it's a next generation virtual environment software uh, basically it is an emulated virtual environment uh, what is meant by emulated is nothing but your uh, uh, mimic of your actual software so that you can do in the virtual environment uh, it can you can do multiple uh, vendor devices like juniper cisco uh, asa pix uh, nokia and n plus number of vendors and you can do your own practice uh, basically this eve uh, i'm using it since uh, 2015 uh, when they launched and till now i'm using it uh, to develop my knowledge and and used from associate till the expert level certification and this helped me to achieve uh, my associate to expert level certificate in juniper and nokia uh, let's quickly start how to uh, install how what are the uh, requirement and how to install it and installation step first you need to have uh, installed uh, vm manager and you have to download the uh, evng pack from the uh, installation pack from the evng website which is free there are two types are there i'll explain you what are the two uh, evng installation pack one is professional one is commercial so i'll explain the difference and next you need to install the uh, download the evng then install the client pack uh, that evng client pack includes uh, Pucci, uh, Wireshark and VNC and different client which used to access the uh, virtual uh, network that we are going to uh, deploy on the EVNG. Then after once uh, we install it, then next we set the hostname and VM setting. Uh, once we have the IP access, uh, then we use that IP uh, in the browser and we are going to use it, access it and we will use it to uh, in deploy the uh, network. Let's quickly start. And I already, this is the EVNG website. I'll give this a link in the description. EVNG website, you just have to go here, EVNG website, then click on the uh, downloads. Then you'll see that EVNG uh, professional and uh, EVNG community edition that which I already discussed. Uh, you can install it in um, uh, Windows. You can install it in Apple or Linux client also. The different packs are available here. You can see there are different packs are available here. And I usually use the community edition, which is free editions. Uh, there are an, the advantage uh, available in professional, which we will discuss later in the coming uh, sessions. So I already have downloaded the uh, EVNG community edition. I use the Google mirror. Just click on the mirror, then you can download it. And next is install the client integration pack, where you have the uh, voice shark and everything will come in, in built so i already installed it here you can see i already installed this and next after installing this too so you can, here you can see i have already uh, installed uh, uh, vm manager and downloaded this uh, evng pack and downloaded the evng client then i'm going to install the uh, evng client to the vm manager let me show you the setup once you download click then extract it'll take a few seconds yes so once it is extract it is simple step yes it's already extracted almost yes yes you can see so what i usually do is i just put i usually put this file in the uh, my documents or uh, any uh, e folder so that in case if my os corrupts this file will not have any impact so once uh, here you can see there are two type vmdk and ovm so you go to your uh, vm station or vm station is all, i use the uh, uh, like one month uh, you know evaluation period only i have so I don't have the license key. So what I did, I used this uh, VM player or station player. It is free. So you have to click here, open virtual machine, simple. Then then go to your uh, desktop where it is saved, ENG client pack. Then go here, then click on this. Then it will ask you, you can like give your own name, any name if you want. I'm just keeping it as a default. So it is importing it. It will take few minutes or few minutes to import it. After importing it, we are going to start and then change the 
VM settings, then set the username and password. Then we are going to access it. So next is after let it while meanwhile it is upload. Let explore the EVNG web URL. So here you can see in the client pack, you can install Wireshark uh, will be coming. Uh, so you can install Wireshark and Alta VNC Putty as your default client. In case if you want to change from Putty to uh, different, uh, you know, clients you have uh, client servers, you can use it for the multi because whenever you use Putty, there is a uh, disadvantage is you have to, uh, you know, click and the different terminals will open for the each session. But if you have the Teratime or some other software, uh, which will be uh, like in a single tab, you can, you know, single window, you can use your multiple sessions. So Putty will become as a default on this. And you have all the necessary wrappers and are available. So here they say like it is auto direction of 7, 8, and 10 in Windows 10. So this client pack I already uh, downloaded it. Here you can see, so a lot of, uh, you know, options, the documentation is available. You can install, you can try on your own. And there is a community where all the, uh, you know, community forums where they discuss uh, many things. So you can check it out. Let me quickly check. Let me close this one. I don't need this. Yeah, it's already uploaded. So I'm going to do the uh, edit the virtual machine. So you can see it comes with the default uh, 60 GB. So in case you want to like, uh, if you have like more uh, memory you want to give, you can click on hard here and then you can add the hard disk here. So it's a, it says it's recommended. So I'm clicking, so create a new virtual disk. Then you can click your like 40, 50, so whatever the, how much, uh, you know, memory you want to allocate. You can allocate the uh, external hard disk here. Yeah. So once it is done, so here it is bridge automatic. What I'm going to use, I'm going to use the host only. So then in case if I don't have internet or something, yeah, I don't have the IP address also, I'll still be able to access this. So I'm doing X and let me click on play virtual machine. Yeah. So meanwhile it boot, I'm going to install this client pack because there's no real like relationship, so we can install this meanwhile it loading. And the background you can see it is running. See, these are the default options. In case if you already have the version, you can unclick or you can click it. And BNC, in case if needed, then you can click on this version and Ultra VNC. Otherwise, you can ignore it by deselecting it. So I'm installing it manually. Yes, here it's already booted, but here you can see uh, there's already the default uh, username and password is already given. In the default uh, username is root to log into the, uh, you know, this particular uh, terminal and password is Eve. So let me quickly install. So Ultra VNC, I'm installing it in case if you want an Ultra NC server silent so you can install use this and you want to upgrade in future you can do that but i don't need currently the server silent so i'm ignoring it only i'm using the server and the viewer and repeater option yeah so i'm not using this if you want you can click on this so i'm just going with the default yeah it installed yes next is I think I don't need one to so currently the next version. Next it will be Wireshark. Here you can see that Wireshark is already installed. Would like to uninstall first. So I'm not saying no because I already have installed the uh, latest version. In case if you want to install, you can do that. Otherwise, you can ignore it. It will take few seconds. Okay, let me quickly log in. Yeah. Username is Eve. Uh, sorry, I think I was wrong. The username is root and password is Eve. Yeah, username is root. Yeah. So once the first time, once you uh, you know enter your username and password. So it will ask you to set the root password. Uh, the default password is Eve. In case if you want to change the uh, default root password, you can use it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it to default. OK, 
okay i'm going to re-enter e yes so i'm gonna put uh, you know i can name the host name as we mentioned in the first slide so meanwhile i'll click next finish the setup yes it's finished so the client pack is also finished installation and you can see the host name that i'll put like emulator lab yes i'd like to put my name always yes so i don't have any dns so i leave it to default and uh, yes i'm not going to use any static ip because i'm using it my laptop in case if you have the server and you have the public ip available then you can map it to uh, you know the static one you can use the uh, tab option to change it so then i'm changing it like this you can use this option to change it i'm leaving it to default i don't have the ntp it's a direct connection yes so this will ask you to uh, you know set your username and password in the first time when you boot it and next time whenever you log in it will not ask it's a first time process so let me quickly get the uh, once it boots we will get the ip address just booting up so the advantage of the emulator is like it's actually mimic your software actual software in case you want to do any simulation in lab or in even uh, you know it helpful to you know replicate uh, the multi-vendor like uh, juniper cisco nokia uh, for firewall they say peaks so different uh, in case you want to do the versa sd van or cisco sd van so you can do the deployment you can do the intro testing there are a lot of options available so you can explore it so yes the pop-up window came so username is the root always and the password is you the same thing i didn't change the password yes you can see so so here you can see in case you, you don't have to show the ip address here it's the ip address is shown there is 192 192.168 36.129 192.168 36.129 see this once uh, it's a very simple process there is not much complication you just have to click next 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 and once you set up and you get an ip and the username for the web url it's admin it's not a root then the password is eve yes here you can see i don't want to save it so let me put test folder let me create this Yes, I'm going to create like click here, add a new lab. So do a test lab. Test lab Eve. Okay. So yes, if in case you want to say that who's the author of the lab, in case if you are using it in the uh, with your friends or for using it, you can put your name here, who's the author and description, what is the lab is for. And you can use it so that you can, you know, uh, give it to different peoples also for accessing it. And you can uh, enter the task also. Yes, you can see uh, this once uh, you go to the lab. So these are the options available. You have nodes, network, startup config, and you can even like if you have like a number of nodes, you can save the startup config and you can upload the startup config for all the nodes. So this all these options I will explain in the next video once we uh, upload the uh, you know vendor images like uh, Cisco, Juniper, or Nokia or SA Cisco. So you can just have to you can see an option add object the node here you can say like you have n number of vendors available what you need you just only need the uh, image of this uh, vendor devices where you can use it so currently the only one is available is a pc so here you can see this option virtual pc i'm adding so it will ask you how many pc you want to add so i'm saying like i need three pc then what is the name it's i'm giving start with pc1 so it will increment by two, three, because we are given three. So it will increase from one plus two, three. I'll show it to you. And we don't have any uh, configurations. So if you want to change anything like a desktop, yes, it is available. So let me quickly change it to router. So just for the testing purpose, I can give like a router one. So yes, you can see the router one, 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 two, one, three. So this is how uh, you will have that uh, images from the uh, vendor images once you upload into EVNG. Uh, then you just have to drag and drop. 
yes saving it and i'm going to click it here you can see note one thing that you don't have any interface it is because uh, while booting up the process you can see edit so here there is no option it has it's a virtual pc so it has only one um, you know interface available so what i'm going to do it's i'm going to create a cloud object i'm going to create a cloud so you can use the cloud management cloud and save it so here you can see it's a cloud in case if you want to change you can change the name of the cloud I can click here and start over option. So I can simply click here and add it to the cloud. Because I don't have the options. So let me quickly delete this that's all guys this is these are the options are available so i can delete all the startup config and i can delete the lab so i hope this is useful for you guys and installing uh, the evng on your laptop easily and how to you know access it using your web browser and next video i'm going to explain how to upload each and the different vendors that we have available with the EVNG. Okay, thanks for watching and please subscribe and do like button. Thank you.